Hey guys, what's up? I'm not gonna bore you with a long introduction. Just a quick summary. Make sure you click the link below and sign up. I'm starting my new website and you'll get some free courses, advanced courses. These are basic courses. You'll get some free advanced basic courses once it comes out. Now back to the video. Enjoy. Stay tuned to the message at the end. Thanks. Hey guys, Henry Wong back here again and today I'm going to show you how to create a date progress bar from you you pick one date and then you have a second date and then it, sh it has a progress bar that shows you the progress to where you are getting to that date from what today is. So the reason I'm making this is because I was browsing through Facebook and I saw in one of our Power Apps group that someone requested that we make well, not requested that we make, but they were just kind of wondering how this kind of feature would be made. And, you know, I decided, well, oh, I'll go ahead and make a video about it. So this is how you do it. So here we have the app that I'm going to first demonstrate how it works, and then I'll show you how to make it right after. So just as they requested, you pick the first date, and then you pick the second date and you want to see the progress that you're making to get to that date. Every single day, this bar moves automatically by itself. Now to do that, first we selected the date, so I went ahead and selected like August 8th, and then I selected the second date. These are just for reference and it's not important to the functionality of the app, but it's there just so you can see kind of what's happening. So here we have the slider. This slider, we put it in view mode so that you, people can't edit it and it's literally just a progress bar that people can't use. It's just a progress bar to show how far away you are from getting to where you need to be. So how it works, basically it just has today, um, the date you enter first and then the second date and then it compares it with today. So, it take, so how this app works is it takes today minus the first day and then it compares it to overall how many days we have to get there and then it throws that into the slider value. So to demonstrate, let's say I make it so that the second date is much closer to today instead of, um, instead of November. So let's say the second date is about four days away compared to about a month ago when it's first started. So I'll press OK. And you see the slider automatically changed so the progress bar automatically went there. Now I made the slider really, really large. You can make it much smaller if you want, as small as you want. Um, but I just made it really large so that you guys would be able to see what's going on here. But yeah, you can make whatever you want with this progress bar. So let's get into how to make it. So making our application is actually not as hard as you might expect. Um, I took, it took a little bit of tinkering around for me, but I got it not, not even, it didn't take that long for me to get it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make it. So first we're going to need the two controls, which are the two dates that you're going you're to let your clients pick. And then you're also going to need your one slider that shows the progress bar. Now normally sliders, um, you would be usually using it for like, uh, actually giving values into the application, but this time we're gonna use it as a display, which it's perfectly fine, it works perfectly. We're going to be using it as a display instead of an input. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these dates bigger. All you have to do is come over here and make the font size bigger. I'm just gonna make it 22 because my fingers are close to the two two buttons. Okay, so we have our display. Let's go ahead and throw in some labels so we know what we're talking about here. I'll make, I'll make the text bigger as well. Let's go ahead and say first date. So this is gonna be our first date. And then let's go ahead and copy and paste that and make that the second date. Second date. Okay, let's go ahead and throw in our slider, our progress bar. So this slider is gonna be our progress bar. And you guys can also make this look much nicer. I'm just showing you the functionality right now here. I'll show you a little bit how to make it nicer. So make, make your rails a bit bigger so you can see like the progress and then make your handle size right here a bit bigger as well, maybe 36. Now let's go for 46. Yeah, there we go, that's a bit better. And then maybe you could add some you know rectangles over here on the side to make it look like it's nice and tidy. Maybe, maybe an end rectangle right here, no picture. Let's go ahead and change the color, maybe dark blue. And no picture. There we go. And I mean, it doesn't look the part, but uh, I'm not gonna spend time with aesthetics right here, although I do like my apps being aesthetic. So th this could literally just be a progress bar. Now we're just gonna implement the code and then our app is pretty much done. Let's go over here. So we need to click on our slider. First of all, we need to change the maximum value of our slider. Since our dates are gonna be changing. The maximum value of how many days we have until we reach the final date is also going to change. So the maximum value is actually gonna go ahead and be a function. So let's click on our slider and scroll down to max over here. 
Now, what we're going to change our maximum function to is basically the second date minus the first date. And then if you want to, um, the guy in the Facebook post requested that it be in months, but you can also have it be in days, but I'm going to go ahead and make it in months today. So I'm going to, I'm just going to divide that by 30. So let's go ahead and pick our date picker. Um, that's going to be date picker. Oh, I'm not sure which one it is. Okay. Date picker five is our second one. So date picker five dot selected date minus date picker two dot selected date and then take that divided by 30 and I'm going to go ahead and put the parentheses in the front oh whoops there we go so our maximum value is now date picker 5 minus date picker 2 divided by 30 so what this really is is our maximum value is the number of months starting from the first date to the second date that's our maximum value now, next, we're going to put in our value that it's going to be on the slider. So we don't have to do it automatically. And to do that, we just go over to our default value over here. And we're going to change that to a formula as well. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, it's going to be, um, let's see here, data, no, date picker. No, 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 not date picker. Sorry, sorry. Our formula is going to be today, since we're going to compare it with the today value minus the first date value. So it's going to be today minus date picker five what was it five is the first one no no date picker two so the first one is two so date picker two selected value no, selected date okay so what this is is how many days are we right now from the first day and that's going to be that and we're going to divide that by 30 because our, our entire slider is in months so I'm just gonna divide that by 30 and there we go our application should be done actually that's all you need to do so let's go ahead and test it out um, the slider is not working right now because the first date and the second date are the, the same day and today's date so we, we're gonna have to change that but once we change that our slider is going to change accordingly oh I forgot one thing make sure your slider is in view mode so that users can't edit the slider so let's go ahead and use that first date. Let's make it August 1st. Oh, I forgot to press OK. August 1st. And our second date is going to be, let's say, two months away from August 1st. So we're about one month in. Our slider should be about in the middle, but a little bit more because we're one and like 1.3 months into the entire selected date. So let's go ahead and press OK. And there it is, our slider went to the selected date. So you can see how we can make some kind of progress bar with our power apps here, just using the slider and then two date fields as well. And that's what the person in the Facebook group re requested for you. I really hope this was helpful and hopefully you can make some great apps with this, um, with this functionality. And see, the users can't edit it here, so, so it's really good. And I mean, you can change the date anytime. And if you don't want the users to change the, the dates, I mean, you can throw this into some kind of database. Um, just watch my Excel video if you want to know how to do that. But you can do that, or you can, I mean, just you can calculate it yourself inside of Power Apps and then maybe have a form, have people pick the date, and then have that feed into this part of the app. I mean, you could do a lot of things with this. But this, is me showing you how to make a progress bar, and that's how you do it. It's really easy, pretty simple, much easier than you might expect, um, but I really hope this was helpful, and if you did like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment if you want something, contact me at admin at antelica.com if you need something, but um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was good. Be useful. Um, happy building on your power apps. Thanks. Bye. Hey, quick message at the end, make sure you click the link below and sign up for my free advanced courses once my website comes out. Guys, th these are completely free. All you have to do is enter your email. I'll send you directly to the link where you can receive some free courses once my new website comes out. Guys, this is really big. These are advanced courses and what I'm giving you on YouTube right now, they're kind of basic and kind of like, oh, what people want, but really the advanced stuff is gonna be in those courses once my website comes out and they're gonna be absolutely free to you if you sign up early. So be sure to click on that link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.